Oh my gosh, are you not subscribed? Nani? Hit that subscribe button, bro. And also hit that like button too, because I'm so close to 1,000 subs. <coughs> Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, guys, it's Elude here to answer the most asked questions about the Ajaz AK33. I hope you enjoy. On the Ajaz AK33, can you switch out all the keycaps once you buy the keyboard? Well, yes, you can. The Ajaz comes with a keycap puller, which you can use to pull out the keycaps from the keyboard. Don't damage the keyboard unless you like you do something really stupid and just fully yeet it and like break the switch stabilizer. But you can still do that. Do you have different keycaps for your Ajaz? If so, can you link or say the name, please? Personally, I do not have different keycaps for my Ajaz, but I did find some sick ones on Amazon. If you type in Sunzit Ajaz AK33 keycaps, a bunch of keycaps will come up and they look fire, but make sure you use ones that support the Ajaz because some layouts of some keyboards don't have those fat arrow keys, so be careful when you're looking for keycaps. Do you recommend me to buy it? Personally, I think it's a good keyboard for the price, but maybe you should go for a more expensive keyboard like Apex Pro TKL if you have the money. But other than that, I would recommend this keyboard to anyone really. But also, I have a friend that bought this keyboard recently. And on his first day, here are his thoughts. Okay, K9, what are your thoughts on the Ajaz? I think the Ajaz is probably one of the best keyboards I've ever used. No cap, no cap, no cap. Okay. I'll come from Corsair K63, yeah? Yeah? Do you know? Yes. And, um, you know, the Ajaz just has so much to offer. The blue switches are just amazing. The song's so crispy clean. This, this. Yeah, just amazing. Just amazing. Too much speed to handle. Oh, talk about the build quality in your, in your opinion. So, I came from the Corsair K63. Obviously, Corsair, good keyboard. But this keyboard, like, I just love the way, the metal background of it. And then, like, you have so many color switches. Like, there's so many switches between colors. Like... Yeah, like there's just a multi, multiverse of colors. Multiverse. Not even single verse. Multiverse. Okay. And then the keyboard, like, say if you're a Rager, like, he has no flex. Like, it won't break, it won't snap. No flex. You know? Oh, <laughs> your webcam on, show them your keyboard won't flex. It won't flex. There's no flex. This is hard on doing it. Well, not really that hard. I don't want to snap it, you know. I'm too strong. But like, he won't flex. Like, look at this. So overall, write the keyboard out of between one to ten. Ten being like the Apex Pro TKL, and one being like Aob's keyboard. I'm gonna say nine. I'm not gonna lie to you. Damn, that's pretty good. I'm, 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 no, 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 no. I'm actually gonna say nine. I'm not gonna lie to you. This keyboard is so good. By the way, my face good in this video. I'm gonna come to your house. I'm still your chicken from your fridge. All right. Thanks for your opinion, K9, and have a good day. Have a good day. Only thing I don't like about it is that it has F keys. This is not even a question, but still, it's just an opinion. You know, some people find use for these. Personally, I do find the F keys useful because I'm a content creator. I don't really like sweat this game. But for like competitive players, they most of them don't really like the F keys. They think it's a waste of space, which I mean, I'm not against that or anything, but yeah, that's one thing that people don't like about it. That wasn't even a question, I didn't really know how to answer that. What is your FPS? Very low. How MS this keyboard? I paid about £40 for mine, but you can get the good ones between $30 to $50. Anything below that, the quality starts to get really bad. It's a short distance of WASD and F1, F2, F3 and F4. I mean, I don't really know what to say. The difference is normal. You'll get the same thing with any keyboard. My lights don't turn on. Do you know why? To change the lighting, all you have to do is press FN and F8 at the same time. This will scroll through all of the lighting presets, but some of the other keyboards don't support them, like the cheaper versions of the Ajaz. One of my other friends has an Ajaz, and his keyboard only has three of the lighting presets, whereas mine has upwards of 20, just because I spent a few more pounds on it. So either you got a really cheap Ajaz AK33, or you didn't understand how to get the other lighting presets. Yo bro, I just ordered this keyboard with the blue switches, same as yours. I wanted to know if the keyboard is loud enough to hear through a headset, or even possibly another room. I really want this to be a loud keyboard, which is why I'm asking. Realistically, all blue switches are loud, so if you want it to be a really loud keyboard, you should be fine with it. What's the quality like? The quality of the Ajaz is not the best. There could definitely be some improvements, but overall it's a solid keyboard for the price. I wouldn't expect this thing to break in under five years, unless you throw it at a wall or something. 
Does this work on Xbox One because it's USB? Question mark. Yes, this keyboard works for all consoles, whether that be Xbox One, PS4, and even Switch. But Switch doesn't support keyboard and mouse on Fortnite, but I still used it to type things on the Switch. So overall, it's a very universal keyboard, meaning it supports any device. Mouse? Question mark. I used the glorious Model O. Personally, I think this is a very amazing mouse, probably one of the best of this year, and I definitely recommend you to buy that mouse. It's not blue, it's like cherry or brown. Firstly, cherry is a brand. Cherry are a brand that make key switches and are purchased off big brands like Corsair, which are then put into their keyboards. And secondly, they are blue. As you see me take them off, you can see the keys are actually blue, which therefore means they are blue switches. They also sound like blue switches too. I don't think browns have that type of clicky sound. Here's a sound comparison comparing blues and browns. That's the end of the video guys, if you do find this video helpful, please smash that subscribe button guys, please, we're so close to 1000 subs, and it will mean so much if we hit that, but that's enough from me, and have a good day, peace.